Hey, what up my YouTube family? I am coming to you with another live makeover video. And we are on week 22. So I'm going to go ahead on and jump right into the video. I hope you enjoyed last week. And I hope you enjoyed this enjoy, enjoy this week. But I do have to say is, I dreaded this week coming of our live makeover. And it because what it talks about is something that I have to face. I do have a few of them. But I'm glad I only have to deal with one at a time. So you all listen up, get ready, and let's jump right in to what's going on. Week 22. Friends, facts, and faith. I've been absolutely terrified every moment of my life. And I've never let it keep me from doing a single thing that I wanted to do. By Georgia. O'Keefe, what's the one thing you know you need to do to improve your quality of life right now that you're most afraid of doing? Hmm. For many of us, fear is a constant companion on the path of personal change. Fear of the unknown, fear of the action or reactions of others. Fear of pain or humiliation. Fear of loss. In order for any of us to create a great life, we must confront our fears on a regular basis. It's just a normal part of the human experience. What you do with your fear, however, will direct the course of your life. If you let fear stop you, You'll keep wishing and hoping for a better life. Fear can be a call of action, a powerful motivating force for change. Although fear can provide a warning of danger, I'm talking about the kind of fear that shows up when you're about to take an action that you know on a gut level is important for your growth or the advancement of your goals. The better you get at handling fear, the more amazing your life will become. I've learned quite a bit about handling fear. I've realized that with the following three things in place, I can overcome just about anything. One, friend and family. Too many of us try to do scary things alone. As far as I'm concerned, that's the old model of, I don't need anyone, and it no longer works. Not that it ever worked very well before. Doing scary things alone just makes the chance of staying stuck, stepping back, or holding steady all the more likely. The minute you notice your feelings of fear, stop and identify someone who might be able to support you and ask for help. Two, facts. Sometimes when we're afraid to move forward, it's because we're missing something. Information, a point of view, are the right words to communicate how we feel. For an example, let's imagine that you're focused on building your business and you're afraid of selling your products or services. When you ask yourself, what's missing? You discover that your inability to act is based on a fear of rejections that's much larger than your desire for success. Needing more information about handling rejection, you may research books, talk to experienced salespeople, or even attend a sales seminar. Once you get this information, you'll find that your fear starts to shrink, but it won't necessarily go away completely, which is why you'll need the next step. Step three, 
is faith. Once you have the support in place, which is your friends and family. Sorry. And you've discovered and provided what's missing, which are the facts. The last step has to do with the almighty leap. Yup. It's like stepping up to the edge of a cold pool, holding your nose, and jumping in. Taking action in spite of your fear helps you to develop faith in the divine and in yourself. That's the key. Learning to trust that you can handle anything that happens. Is much more important than whether or not you succeed. And faith only grows when we take action without knowing the end result. That's faith. You walk by faith and not by sight. That's our church model. Okay. So, from now on, when you need to do something scary... And you start to waffle, find a friend or family member, get the facts, and seek the faith. All right. In our Life Makeover Journal, this is the Take Action Challenge. This week, take an inventory of the things you've been avoiding out of fear and pick one item. Next, go through the steps above and challenge yourself to get the support you need so you can take action once and for all. Remember, the three steps are friends, our family, the facts, and faith. Remember, even, even small steps overcome your fear can make a big difference. For example... If you need to give a speech and you have a fear of public speaking, one of the most common fears of all, you might prepare by teaching a Sunday school class or reading a good book about public speaking. So on your life makeover journal, these are the three items, the three sentences you're going to, um, I'm not going to say what you're going to do, but these are the um, four sentences that you need to write in your life makeover journal if you like. The first one, the one thing I've been afraid to do is, maybe several like mine, but you only need to start with one and you'll write that down. Then you'll write down, the friends or family member who can support me are, you'll write their name down, our names. Then the third one, the facts I need to research are, you write down the facts that you need to research about whatever fear that you wrote down on the first sentence. And then the last sentence, the action I will take this week is, you write down a small action that you're going to take this week to confront your fear of whatever it may be. Everybody's fears are different. Be something small, big, I don't care. Do it. So this will help us accomplish one fear at a time. You know, as once we accomplish one, the next fear will be much easier. And most of all, out of all, we just got to put our trust in the Lord. Even though we don't see it, even though we're sometimes scared, fearful, we just got to, what they say, go to the edge of the pool, hold your nose, and just jump right in. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, I dreaded this week of Life Makeover. I had and already did a peak preview of it on last week. I peaked on it, and I'm like, uh, I don't really want to do this one. I wish I can skip it, but it won't be fair. To you all, and it won't be fair to me because this is a life makeover journey that we're doing in 2018. And you all see, we're already on 22, which we really supposed to be on 24 because I skipped two weeks at one time. One week, one time, and then later on down another week I skipped. But 
22, from 1 all the way to 22, you're doing great. And so am I. So let's just keep this live makeover challenge going. And like I always say, we don't know where, we don't know when, we don't know how. But we know that the Lord will make a way 